Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Hey guys, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Alright, so kind of a quick overview of what we're about to do here. So we're going to, I'm going to pull the number one uh, plug and plug wire off, which is passenger side uh, front of the motor, okay? I'm going to pull that off, then I'm going to pop my cap. Uh, I know where number one is, it's right here where I have the mark. I don't know if you guys can see that, I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, we're going to get this to top dead center number one, okay? Number one cylinder, top, uh, top piston all the way up. And then from there, um, I'm gonna pop my valve cover off on the passenger side where number one is, and then go to those uh, valves and take a feeler gauge and adjust my clearances on my valves. So, um, that's basically what I'm going to do. So let me show you this real quick. So number one is back here. Okay, it's that, that right there. We're going to pop that plug and the uh, wire out. I'm going to undo the cap. This is number one. I've got it marked with the white here. So that's the number one to spark plug wire. Okay, I'm going to pop the cap. And then I'm gonna take this, and you can probably see the white mark down there. Okay, we're gonna get this to where we're gonna spin the motor until it pops my finger out of the number one hole back here for the plugs out. And then that should be top dead center, and that mark should be right here. Okay, right there, somewhere in here. And if that's the case, and this rotor button is pointing at number one, and we're number one back here, we look good here, we should be there. So that's, that's A. So that's what I'm gonna start doing and uh, kind of go from there. So I'll bring you guys with me. Put you back up here. I don't even know what you're looking at right now. There we go. Uh, right there. Okay, here we go. So if you reach back here, you should be able to pull your plug wire off, in theory. It's got a weird little boot on it. There it is. So there's your plug wire. Okay. And then, I believe it's a 13 16 uh, spark plug socket. Okay, 13 16 Make sure you're going the right direction. I like to take and put the actual socket on the plug and then kind of go from there. Now put an extension on it. Good news. We're 
already bleeding. <laughs> okay, so there's my plug. You guys, yeah, pretty sooty and black. Um, so we'll clean that up before we put it back in. I might go around and do all of them. Definitely running rich. Better than lean. So we got work to do, boys. So that's. That's our first clue that we got something going on. So uh, these are brand new plugs. They've got maybe 45 minutes of runtime on them. So we need to fix this. So there's that. Now I'm gonna tell you, right out of the gate, I may have to pull this carburetor off again. Um, and not for jets but to adjust the accelerator pump linkage, okay? I may have too much squirt now. Um, I am sitting towards the top of the bracket and I might be flooding this thing out. So um, I'll probably pull the carb again and adjust that to where it's in the middle where it was when I got it um, and see what happens. Um, now that's obviously is after we do all of this other stuff we're going to do, adjusting the valve clearance, checking timing, checking all of this stuff. So cleaning up the plugs, so on and so forth. So here we go. So that's what we're doing. So that is out. You can grab a screwdriver. button right now is pointing back here okay uh, which would be one I think this is number three so we want to rotate this engine which could be fun in the car with all the tens on it I'm yet to try that um, to get it I might just bump it honestly um, to get this aim in here at the number one okay and then also to get our mark right here at the center of the case and then also have top dead the piston all the way up on number one okay uh, once we get that should be good so we're gonna mess with that for a minute tell you what i'm gonna go get ron to bump this thing and uh, i will come right back to you okay guys welcome back so here's what we got um had Ron come out and bump the motor. Look at where my rotor button is here, okay? Let's see if you can. Zoom in. All right, rotor button's pointing right here. If I put my cap on, pretty much at number one, okay? So this is right. My timing mark right here is right at the crankcase right about where I have it timed actually so that's pretty good it blew my finger out back here at number one so I'm close I'm real close um, so I think from that standpoint we're good now the next thing I'm gonna do is zoom me out here um, the next thing we're gonna do is go through this and pull the valve cover off on this side and uh, try not to make a mess never done that on a Volkswagen that been running anyway so I'll uh, pull that valve cover off and uh, probably throw some cardboard down and do that and then get the feeler gauge out and start checking valve clearance right I'm gonna watch another video make sure I'm not doing something wrong and uh, get that clearance figured out and then start dialing them in so that'll be number one and then we'll go through the sequence whatever that is and uh, get them right so we'll just keep doing that until we're there. So anyway, guys, 
thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go eat some lunch and then uh, I'll come back to you and we'll start doing the, uh, I'll bring you under the car with me and we'll pull the valve cover and start going through that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so here's where we're at. We are on the passenger side uh, uh, head, cylinder one, cylinder two, okay? What we're doing, and what we did, was adjusted the valves using a feeler gauge, okay, this right here, to 0 .006, both intake and exhaust. Um, while doing this, uh, it's not very difficult, it's not very messy, and I believe it's something, from what I hear, you're supposed to do every 3,000 miles if you really want to keep your engine running right, but that, that could be wrong. Um, so what I'm doing is just verifying. Now what I did find, okay, so that we're all on the same page, this one, so the number one cylinder, both intake and exhaust, were tight, were too tight. And this one here on the, uh, I believe it's intake exhaust, I'm not sure which is which, but this one here was tight, this one and this one. I got them adjusted to 0 .0, uh, 0 .006. Uh, this one here was good. Uh, so this side's good to go. I'm going to now go over to the driver's side, pull that valve cover off, and go ahead and get everything adjusted and then uh, put all this back together and go on to the next thing. So anyway, guys, that's where we're at right now. Um, I'll bring you back when I get to the other side. Thanks for watching.